Welcome to Dev Online. Today we are going to talk about JavaScript data visualization libraries for 2019. We live in an era of data explosion when nearly every application we develop uses or leverages data to improve the experience delivered to the users. Sometimes the best feature we can deliver to our user is data itself. However, table and number charts are often tiring to read and it can be hard to draw actionable insight from large data tables. Instead, we can use neat data visualization methods and leverage the brain ability to identify and process data in a visual way. To help you get started and easily add beautiful data visualization to your favorite application. So I'm going to show you some of the best JavaScript data visualization libraries, which is around in 2019. Number one, D3JS. At 80,000 star, D3JS is probably the most popular and extensive JavaScript data visualization library out there. D3 is a build for manipulating document based on data and bring data to life using HTML, SVG, and CSS. D3 emphasizes on web standard, give you the capabilities of modern browser without coupling to a proprietary frameworks. Combining visualization component and data driven approach to DOM manipulation. It allows you to bind arbitrary data to a document object model and then apply data driven transformation to the documents. If we go in his websites, D3JS, you can see here a beautiful visualization here. And here is some introductions it's how you can select. Totally documentation is available. You can check it out. Feel free to use this, play around with it. And here is also have some of example. If we check out his example, like a bubble chart, make, make a bubble chart. I'm clicking on the bubble chart now. And you can see here how is they made. And here is all of code of the bubble you can like look out and check how ours is they working so one of the best d3 js which is you can use for data visualization number second chart js an extremely popular 40000 star library of open source html5 charts for a responsive web application Using convex element, we to provide mixed chart types, new chart axis types, and beautiful animation. Let me show you this on website. Here is some good designs are simple, elegant, with basic chart types, and you can combine the library with the moment.js. I I hope everybody heard it. If you can see here, the beautiful animations and you can also check out his library with the samples which you can have okay stake groups a bar chart now you can see they can show you you have randomized data you can rid of some of data you can take it out only which one you want to see so like this have so many example like a polar this blue how much only red orange yellow so like how many you want to open it you can check out add data remove data and randomize data so feel free to play with it and i hope this can work for you with any your application number third 3js this incredibly popular library 
45,000 star, 1,000 contributor in built of creating 3D animations using WebGL. The project is flexible and abstract in nature means it also useful for visualization data in two or three dimensions. For example, we can check out any of, <coughs> uh, sorry, like here is one of play to dance with a sound no, you don't want to watch sound effect. And you can see now this is really utilizing this. So here is mostly so many libraries, so many examples here that you can use in your applications number four e-charts and high charts now you can see here Pedu e-charts project 30,000 stars is an interactive charting and visualization library for the browser it's written in a pure JavaScript and is based on a Zrender convinced library and let me show you on a website also. It supports rendering charts in the form of Convex SVG and VML in addition. We can see some kind of demo. E-charts can also be used with Node Convex or efficient server-side rendering. So we now you can see here Ajax loaded with the Ajax with data labels how you can do this here is so many the options you see we have a lot of code examples here you can check out the journal documents references a roadmap like how you can build it how you can think here's a the products they already provide for you can how you can build high charts high stocks maps and gents with the ios for android so it's a kind of very best, the one of best high chart JS, 8000 star and widely popular JavaScript charting library based on SVG with fallback to VML and convinced for all browsers. It claims to be used by 72 out of the world 100 lot, largest company which make it probably the most popular JS charting api in the world facebook or twitter now the next one is matrices graphics so matrix java 7000 star is a library optimized for visualizations and laying out time series data it's relative small 80 kb many feet we can see here some of example interactive. You can see here some live charts, line chart, there is a confidence brand, small range integer, as I have a code available with data one and data two, like your April. So here is a lot of example. You can check it out and you can multiple lines with data, with access, some rollover. And automatic time formatting. Now the next one is ReCharts. ReChart is a chart library built with React and D3 that lets you deploy as declarative React components. The library provides native SVG support, lightweight dependency tree, D3, uh, like a sub modules. Is a highly customizable Y components props. You can find uh, some example on his website. We can open his. Now you can install here. You can check it out on GitHub how they use it. And here is some of example with a, some simple line chart with the run. And you can see you can run here. 
and they can run for you like teeny tiny line charts and vertical line charts there's a lot of light charts like an area chart bar chart compose chart scatter chart pie charts so many examples is available already you can use by in your application especially with react.js the next one is raffle a 10,000 star JavaScript vector library for working with vector graphics in the web. The library uses the SVG W3C recommendation and VML as a base for creating a graphics. So every graphical object is also a DOM object and you can attach JavaScript event handler. Raphael currently supports Firefox, uh, Safari, Chrome, Opera, and Internet Explorer, which is 6.1. You can hear is some intro. Here is a documentations. You can feel free to check it out. How it works with this document complete can be found when and categories posted. And you can how you're gonna use it. Uh, this is, here is some of example with the SVG convents like how you can make this some demonstrations like here how you can make kind of this kind of data visualization with the colors and why we use Raphael so feel free to read out and how you can use in your applications next c3 js combination chart at 8000 stars, C3 is a D3 based reusable chart library for web application. So the library provides classes to every element so you can define a custom style by the, by the class and extend the structure directly by D3. It also provides a variety of API and callbacks. To access the state of the chart by using them you can see here are some uh, demo now you can check it out here is some of example so feel free to take a look line chart XY line chart multiple XY line chart so many example here so feel free to use these examples to so look at out these examples and read out how you can use this c3js in your applications now another one is react virtualized plus react visualization plus victory let's have a 4000 star is a uber set for react components for visualization data in a consistent way including line area bar charts heat maps scatter ports Contour plots, hexagon, heat maps, and much more. The library does not require any previous knowledge with D3 or any other. Here is some of the example also. I'm gonna show you. Now you can see when I mouse over, it's beautiful effect on it. So, provides a low level modular building block components such as xy axis we can see here custom axis xy stick format and it's working with bit and very useful library consider react virtualization 12,000 star a set of react components for efficiently render large list and tabular data es6 common js And UMD build are available with each distribution and the project supports a webpack for workflow. So now that React, React DOM must be specified as a peer of dependencies in order to avoid version conflict. Give it and try. Here's the next one is Carto DB. Let's have a 2000 star Carto is a location intelligence and data visualization tool for discovering inside and underlying. We can check out on his website too. 
you can upload just um, geo spatial data shape file geo json etc and using a web form and visualize it in in a data set or on a map here is some kind of solution available resources how you can use it as a platform location data stream so you can feel free to check it out i hope it will be work somewhere works in your web applications number 10 is row graphs you can see here how the row raw graphs work so add over like a 5000 raw is a connection link between spreadsheet and data visualization built to create custom vector based visualization on top of the d3.js library it works with the tabular data spreadsheets and a comma separated values as well as with copy and pasted text from other application based on the uh, svg format visualization can be edited uh, with vector graphics application for further refinement or directly embedded into web pages so here is some of example with the learning charts how to make a bar chart how to make a diagram here is some of gallery you can watch here so what they made it how they made it so one of the best raw graphics which you can use in your application the best way and the last one i'm going to show you metabase at over 11000 star metabase is a rather quick and simple way to create data dashboard without knowing sql but with sql mode for analyst and data props you can create conical segment and matrices in data to slack and uh, view data in slack with metabot and more you can use it probably a great tool to visualize data internally for your team although some maintenance might be required for this one so we can check it out on his website here is some of our documentation setting up meta how to get started installation guides and here is a lot of guides how you can use for developer how you can use you can discussion here have some kind of problems some services how which services you want to like to provide so these are JavaScript data visualizations method which I found on internet basis you can easily uh, type in a Google and found the links dot com with the names just type the name of it I hope you guys like this video if you like my video please like it if you don't like it please comment below and describe why you don't like it how can i improve my videos so let's see you in next video